All right, so in SignCut Pro, we're going to show you how you can weld uh, objects uh, as well as text uh, inside this video. So uh, anyways, what welding is, uh, what it will do for you, it will essentially fuse two or more shapes that are uh, currently like overlapping, right? Because uh, if we were to go up here to view wireframe mode, you can see that if we were to cut this out, uh, we have the star overlapping the, the arrow here. And really, we want them to be fused together. So uh, in order to, to do that, uh, we, we select the shapes that, that we want uh, to, to go ahead and weld. And then over here, uh, we have this right here, uh, where we're able to click on it. And then we have some options. We can go ahead and weld, punch out, um, you know, other items here that we'll talk about later. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click on the weld. And you're going to see that it is now fused together. That is one solid shape. The... Uh, if I go to view wireframe, you can see that the inside star is no longer there. It just merged them together, fused them together, okay, made them one shape. Now, we can do this uh, with text as well, and there may be some tweaking that needs to be involved when it comes to text, because uh, whenever you start typing uh, in, a, in a font, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, I think it is in the EFs here, so freestyle font, where it's um, essentially it's a, it's a script that uh, is cursive, and uh, I think it would look pretty well here. So I'm just going to go type in hello, and let me go ahead uh, and enlarge it. And w one of the issues when it comes to text is, you know, what, why aren't the letters uh, closer together? And uh, we can go ahead and adjust this with uh, tracking and everything. So with, uh, with this selected, I believe you can click on here uh, where you see text tools, um, or you can always go down here in the drop down menu and choose text tools. And uh, the tracking will get us close, okay, by, by nudging uh, them. All right, but you know, once you get to a certain point, um, you know, it it doesn't work quite as well because uh, let me go ahead and uh, zoom in, zoom in here, and then we'll go into the wireframe view. You can sort of see that they're they're somewhat overlapping still. So um, what we what we can do here is with the you know we can get really close with the tracking, and then uh, essentially we will do the following. I'm going to go ahead and, and zoom out just a little bit here. And we need to convert this uh, to uh, essentially um, you know, a vector curve and everything. So uh, you, know, you can go here, convert to curve, right click, convert to curve. And then we can right click uh, on group. And then uh, now we can select the items individually and uh, we can nudge them over, right? So I'm just using my arrow keys on my keyboard. Now uh, this brings up another thing uh, with nudge is that uh, inside the program here, uh, you need to set your nudge uh, value up here. Um, sometimes it's set too high, sometimes it's too, too low. So anyways, I have mine at uh, 0.012 inches. Uh, and that way I can, you know, make small changes and adjust the letters uh, appropriately. So once I have the, the O and the L where I want it, then I'll select both and then nudge those, nudge those over as well. All right. But once you, once you've, uh, once you have everything here, let me go ahead and fix this. And then we can go ahead and shift all three of these here. Just use my arrow keys, by the way. Now that looks pretty good. Now I can go ahead and uh, zoom out and select everything. And now I can go to weld. Well, and uh, that is how we can weld text that uh, really isn't uh, pushed together properly and stuff. All right. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this lesson uh, and uh, keep on watching more of them as we're going to be going more into uh, sign master uh, pro all right